the ACC versus the SEC Women's Basketball Challenge is this Wednesday and Thursday, and man, it's going to be exciting. They did a great job scheduling the matchups, with most of them at least, some not so much. There's always debate about which conference is better than the other. This challenge will help give answers to some of those questions. Conference realignment sucks, but this might be one benefit of the Pac-12 dissolving. Imagine if every year we get an ACC versus SEC and a Big 10 versus Big 12 matchup. I think there's a strong possibility because there's no longer a Power 5 that is forced to be left out. I'll give my predictions how I think these matchups will go and what a win would mean for those teams. This video won't be as heavily edited as the other ones because I'm, I'm running out of time before the first game starts. I was super busy with some stuff, but that's neither here nor there. I'll start with LSU versus Virginia Tech because that's probably the main one people want to see. It's really hard to say how this one would go. Angel Reese has been confirmed to be back. Unfortunately, Samaya Smith is out for the season. I hate this for her. It's always bad when anyone goes down, but it's even worse when it's someone like Samaya. She just goes out there, works hard, and hoops. She doesn't bother anybody, antagonize people, or anything of that nature. She was on pace to have a really good year, but that's out the window now. I have some theories of what might be going on with Poole, but that's not the video for this. In theory, Virginia Tech should destroy LSU. Typically, when a star player comes back after leaving for an extended period of time, the team has massive chemistry issues. When you get used to playing without someone so long, it takes some time to get back in shape. Meanwhile, Virginia Tech has been established for a while, and everyone knows their role. LSU is desperate for a win. I think they will have a much bigger sense of urgency than Virginia Tech. If Virginia Tech loses, no one will care. If LSU loses the first game Angel Reese comes back, you best believe chaos will ensue. There's already a narrative spreading that the team is happier without Angel Reese and they play better without her. This will be adding fuel to the fire. I want Virginia Tech to win purely to save Notre Dame's strength of schedule. Tennessee and UConn wet the bed so it would suck if Virginia Tech is another team that drops out the top 10 ranking. But despite me wanting VT to win, my head is saying LSU will win. Virginia Tech is barely getting any help from their other players outside of Amori and Kitley right now. I can't see Georgia by herself outplaying LSU's backcourt of Michaela Williams and Haley Van Lith. Kitley will probably have a monster game, but Virginia would just give the points right back on the other end, and LSU has home court advantage. I think LSU takes this one. Regardless of the outcome, I'll revisit this matchup later. Notre Dame versus Tennessee. I think Notre Dame wins either way, but I really hope Rakia Jackson is playing and is able to ball out because this game is nationally televised and it's going to be a slaughter if she's not out there. If Rikia Jackson isn't playing, I think this game can get real bad. I'm talking about a game where fans leave early. Notre Dame is going to make an example out of Tennessee. Notre Dame might mess around and put up 100 points on Tennessee's home floor. I'm not saying this to disrespect Tennessee. I'm saying this because that's what Notre Dame is supposed to do. I view them as title contenders and this is the game to show it. If they only win by like 10 points, I'll have a lot less confidence in this team. Considering how bad their defense is, I think UT will get absolutely bulldozed. Their only hope is hoping Hidalgo gets in foul trouble and hope Notre Dame has the worst shooting night of the entire season. Louisville and Ole Miss are having a sweet 16 rematch. Louisville won last time and I think they will win again, but it won't be easy. I think Miami versus Mississippi State could be a really good game. I think they are evenly matched teams. Both teams are undefeated and they aren't going to want to give that up. I'm going with Miami because Mississippi State has won ugly their past few games and they can't afford that against Miami. Jasmine Roberts always seems to step up when the competition gets harder. She's truly a slept on player. Alabama is playing against Syracuse. Alabama already upset Louisville and Syracuse almost upset Maryland. I'm going with Alabama because I think they are the better team even though they had a weird loss to Gonzaga. What about the Battle of the Carolinas? Nothing can convince me otherwise that the AP voters kept North Carolina ranked for the sole purpose of keeping the marketability of this matchup. Forget being top 25. This team doesn't even look top 50. Let's look at the six games they played so far. They couldn't score 60 points in a loss to Kansas State. They lost to a mid-major, despite taking 16 more free throws than them. 
This team needed a plus 11 free throw advantage just to beat Davison by four. The refs had to bail them out to beat Vermont out of all people. The only reason I remember this state exists is because of Bernie Sanders. I think South Carolina wins by at least 50 points. Offensively, North Carolina is garbage and they are going against arguably the best defense in the country. North Carolina also has no bench depth, which is a big no-no against South Carolina. Now there's one game I'm super excited about, and I think it can prove to be the most exciting out of all the matchups, and that's Arkansas versus Florida State. Unfortunately, it's on during the same time as the South Carolina game. If you have ESPN+, Plus, I recommend switching to this game anytime Full Wiley is not on the court for South Carolina because Talia Scott and Tinia Latson are two of the most slept on shooting guards in the country. They can flat out score. There will be a video on them soon, but they are very fun to watch. I think this is quietly one of the best guard versus guard matchups this entire regular season. Latson led the ACC in scoring as a freshman last year. Talia Scott has a very good chance of doing the same thing in the SEC. I think Florida State will take it because I think they have a better supporting cast and I think Latson is a better player than Talia right now, but I think Arkansas will give them a really good fight. I'm not even going to waste time talking about the games on the screen right now. Literally no one is watching them. Finally we have North Carolina State versus Vanderbilt. NC State beat a healthy UConn team by double digits and blew out Colorado who was number three at the time, but hey, Vanderbilt is 7-0 right now. I'm sure this will be a very fun and enjoyable. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha